we've got this little 10 inch lathe and it's got a uh, Morse taper tooth tail stock pretty unusual stuff but the problem with this tail stock is that it uh, well you know you'll see inside there but there's nothing to catch there's nothing to catch the hang on this Morse taper tooth drill so unless your tailstock is perfectly clean and your drills are perfectly filed, which I try and do a good job of, uh, you can spin a drill. And I had that happen recently. And once you spin one drill, they pretty much don't stick worth nothing. So to prevent that from happening again, uh, I built this. And what it is, it's just a Morse Taper 2 socket extension which we got from MSC for $10. Can you believe that? $10. Hard to beat that. Uh, just a straight 2 to 2 extension. And it grabs the tang, as you can see, in there. And then made this little sleeve. And uh, my dad braised this rod onto it. And then the sleeve was bored a uh, thousand, thousand and a half undersize, aiming for one. And then I heat shrunk it, heated it up, slipped the... Um, extension in and allowed it to cool. And what this does, let me swap, uh, swap hands here, is this allows you to put this guy into the extension, or the extension of the tailstock, and then rest this little leg up against the way down in there. Nice flat contact surface. And now, pretty much no matter how much torque you put on the drill, it will never spin in the tailstock. So, let's uh, give it a try on something.